Here I'll show you four ways to convert numbers that have been stored as text back to numbers in Excel. Before we start, check the video description and click the link to Teach Excel so you can download the files for the tutorial and follow along. And make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials. For these examples, I'm going to use a very simple little data table here with two columns, one for a serial number and one for sales. Now let's go with the very first example and I'll show you what I mean. So here everything is actually stored as a number. Here, however, we have what looks like a number and then here we have a VLOOKUP. So this VLOOKUP is going to use this serial number to look up in this table and return the correct sales value. But what is wrong? Everything's okay with the formula over here. The problem, and this is a very easy problem to overlook, is that this cell here is not actually a number. So you know that when the number is on the left side of the cell. Here, the numbers are all on the right side of the cell. They're stored as numbers. Left side, stored as text. Now there are a few different ways that you can store a number as text. One could be to put an apostrophe, a single apostrophe in front of it. So when you double click the cell, you could see if there's a single apostrophe there or not, and it's not there. So what's the problem? Well, the problem is that this cell is actually formatted as text. So on the Home tab, go up to the Number box, and you can see that it says Text up here. So even if I go in here and type a new number and hit Enter, it's still not going to work. I can delete it, start over, still not a number. So what you can do here, it's a very simple, the easiest way to do this, go to the Home tab, Number box, and switch it to a number. Now when you do this, it's not going to immediately change anything. You can see it's still stored as text. You have to double click the cell, so make it active, and then hit enter, and it will put it back as a number. And now you can see the VLOOKUP formula has worked and returned 1689 for 111. Try it again just to make sure, perfect. Now this time we've got an annoying number format, so let's go back up to the Home tab and take off some decimal places. There we go. So this is the first thing to look for. Make sure that your cell that has a number in it is actually formatted in a number format. You can also do that by right-clicking the cell and going to Format Cells, and then on the Number tab, hit the Number category and choose a number format over here. Now let's go to the next example. So down here, what we have is a problem with our source data. And you can see here we have some numbers and some text. So some are on the right side of the cell and some on the left side of the cell. Now let's go with a quick, simple, and easy way to convert all of these back to numbers. All you have to do, select the entire column, the entire data set, just like that go to the Data tab, and then go to Text to Columns. Click that, and you don't have to do anything else right here. Just simply go down to Finish. And voila, there we go. So very simple, very easy, and now everything is a number. There's no characters in front of it, no formulas, no functions, no nothing. We have an entire column of numbers. Once again, super simple. Select the data, data tab, text to columns, click finish. The vast majority of the time, that's going to work without any problems. But if you do have a problem with text to columns, there are a couple more ways that we can do this. So let's scroll down and go to the other examples. For the next one, let's use a formula for this. So once again, we have some numbers and some text. And this example shows you one way that you can turn a number into text. And it's useful for some reasons, but not in this case. So double click the cell and you can see an apostrophe right here. Apostrophe or single quote, put that in front of the number and it turns into text. Now one way to quickly get this list to become text is to use the value function. So we have to go to an empty column of data and type equals value, you can see it says it converts a text string that represents a number to a number. So simply select the value, control enter, 
Let's copy this down. And now we have five numbers, no text values. But there's one thing you want to do with this, right? We just made a formula using the value function. Do you really want to list with a bunch of formulas or functions now? Probably not. So one quick, simple, easy thing that you really, really, really have to memorize, I've mentioned it in other tutorials, is how to copy paste special values. So we're going to turn all of these formulas over here into the values that you see in the cell. So to do this quickly, hit control shift down to highlight the selection here. Then hit control C to copy the data. Then alt E S V enter. Now let's hit the escape key, select a cell and it's just the numbers. To do that without keyboard shortcuts, I'm going to hit control Z to go back. You can see, here we go. Select the cells, control C to copy them. Then in the same place, right click over them, go down to paste special. And I'm just going to click the option here instead of opening the other menu over here because I don't like this menu. So hit paste special, then click values and OK. And once you have the values, you could copy these and paste over these values here. So simple and easy. Now let's go to the last way to do this. OK, once again, we have a data set, some numbers, some numbers stored as text. This time, what we're going to do is to use the paste special multiply feature. So what we're going to do, we're not going to move the data anywhere else like we did in the last example. We're going to multiply this entire range by one. That's going to convert all the numbers to numbers. So find an empty cell, put a one in it, make sure the one is a number. So it's on the right side of the cell. And then what you want to do is you want to hit control C over the one, then go to the data that you want to turn into a number, select that data, and you can hit Alt E S M. Then hit OK. And you've converted the entire range into numbers. Make sure there's no apostrophes, no nothing, no formulas. All good. Now let's back that up. What we did is we did the paste special. So kind of like the last time where we did paste special values, this time we did paste special multiply. So Go to a cell, put in one, hit control C to copy that cell. Go to your values, select the values. Then you can right click or you can hit Alt E S V M and then enter or right click. Paste special. Click multiply under operation. Click OK. And there you go. Now I've shown you four ways how to convert numbers that are stored as text back to numbers. So let's recap it up here. The first thing you want to do, make sure that any of your cells that contain numbers are formatted like numbers. So we can see in the number box up here, it says number when I click this cell. If you have it formatted as text and you enter what you think is a number, Excel is going to think of it as text and it's going to mess up formulas like this VLOOKUP formula. So that's the very first thing, and it's very easy to forget that, especially I mentioned that numbers are stored on the right of the cell, and if it's text, it's stored on the left. But if your cell is really small like this, you're not going to notice that. So visually, it can be a bit of a pain to figure that out. So do pay attention to that. Make sure the cells are formatted correctly as a number. The very next one, select the cells that have numbers and text in them, then go to the data tab, text to columns, and click finish. Now text to columns is used to split values up into multiple columns, but if you simply have a range full of numbers like this, it's just going to convert them to numbers. Next example, using the value formula. So I removed the formula here. Let's put it back in equals value, select it, copy it down, 
now we've got a whole range of values. Don't forget for this to select them, hit Control C, and then Paste Special. You can do it by right clicking it and going to Paste Special, or hitting Alt E S and then V for values. We want to select values on this menu, then hit OK. I'm going to go ahead and undo that. So when you download the file, you'll have those formulas there. The very next one, the last one, is to paste special multiply. Put a one in a cell where it's not going to mess up your data. You can delete the one when you're finished, by the way. We're finished here, so we could delete the one. But just put it in a cell where it's going to be saved as a number. Perfect. Copy it. Go to the data you want to make sure is a number. Then we want to paste special multiply. Alt E S M, then OK, or once again, right click, paste special, multiply, okie dokie. And those are four very easy ways to make sure that your numbers are actually numbers. I hope you liked the tutorial. If it was helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials.